In the not-so-distant realm of television history, a certain year saw the birth of a show that would redefine the very essence of humor itself. It was 1989, an era that embraced neon lights, shoulder pads, and cassette tapes, yet amidst this vibrant tapestry emerged something different. A show that would forever etch its name into the annals of pop culture. Ah, Seinfeld. Remember that first encounter. The flicker of the screen, the nostalgic hum of a cathode ray tube and the misadventures of Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer that whisked you away into a world where mundane occurrences spun into comedic gold. Picture it, a sitcom set in the labyrinthine maze of New York City, where conversations about puffy shirts, double-dipping chips, and yada yada narratives were the order of the day. That familiar bass line sneaked into your ears, and suddenly, the quotidian mishaps of four friends became a part of your own tale. Could you ever forget George's futile attempts to secure an alias, Kramer's entrances that defied the laws of physics, or Elaine's distinct dance moves that seemed to encompass an entire era? Oh, those moments. Those timeless chuckles that stitched us together in laughter. Whether you're reliving Festivus grievances, pondering the complexities of the contest, or debating if soup Nazi recipes are worth the attitude, Seinfeld gifted us with a treasure trove of memories that dance in the corridors of our minds. And now, let's peel back the curtain a bit further, shall we? Prepare to be tantalized with random tidbits about the show that may just astound you. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to quirky trivia, these nuggets of insight will paint an even richer backdrop for the tale of Seinfeld. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of this sitcom sensation. But fear not, for the story doesn't end here. As you delve into these surprising facts, let them spark a cascade of memories and musings from your own journey with the show. What were your personal milestones, those episodes that had you doubled over with laughter, or the moments that unexpectedly tugged at your heartstrings? Embrace the nostalgia, for Seinfeld is not just a show, it's a mirror reflecting our quirks, our follies, and our shared humanity. And now, my curious compatriots of pop culture, get ready to unveil the veiled, to chuckle at the unexpected, and to celebrate the charm of the ordinary and the extraordinary. Without further ado, let's embark on this journey of discovery about the timeless classic, Seinfeld. 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 Seinfeld's unseen ensemble member, the coffee shop barista who vanished in the bustling realm of television sitcoms. Few have stood the test of time quite like the beloved 1989 series Seinfeld. Renowned for its witty banter and observational humor, the show showcased a quartet of friends navigating the quirks of life in New York City. Yet, hidden amidst the iconic cast, a tale of intrigue and vanished potential unfolds. Originally envisioned as an integral member of the ensemble, Lee Garlington's character Claire, the amiable coffee shop waitress, held the promise of becoming a memorable presence. Introduced in the pilot episode titled Good News, Bad News, Garlington's Claire appeared poised to offer Jerry and George her friendly advice, cementing her place in the group's dynamic. However, as fate would have it, Garlington's trajectory took an unexpected turn. When the show's pilot was greenlit for a full-fledged series, her character was left on the cutting room floor. The question of why this seemingly pivotal role was forsaken has lingered among fans for years. According to Jason Alexander, who portrayed the indelible George Costanza, a simmering tension behind the scenes provides a glimpse into the mystery. Garlington's purported rewrites of her lines reportedly incurred the ire of co-creator Larry David. This discord led to the abrupt disappearance of Claire, and with it, the palpable chemistry she might have brought to the ensemble. Seinfeld, with its distinct blend of observational comedy and quirky characters, went on to attain legendary status. Yet, one cannot help but wonder about the alternate path the series might have traversed had Lee Garlington's Claire remained an integral part of the group's adventures. The tale of Claire serves as a reminder that the intricate web of decisions behind a show's creation can yield unforeseen outcomes. In the vast tapestry of television history, it is these intriguing behind-the-scenes anecdotes that add depth to our understanding of beloved classics. As Seinfeld continues to find new audiences through reruns and streaming platforms, let us not forget the coffee shop barista who almost joined the ranks of the iconic quartet. Though her lines were rewritten, her story remains an enduring enigma within the annals of television lore. Or, 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 or. Seinfeld's unseen evolution, the original concept, and lost characters in the annals of television history, Seinfeld stands as a comedic monument, its wit and quirks etched into the cultural fabric. 
Yet, behind the scenes, a lesser-known narrative unfolds, one involving the show's inception, and the characters who never saw the spotlight. The genesis of Seinfeld differed from the sitcom we know today. The initial script, titled Stand Up, was envisioned as a 90-minute mockumentary, a glimpse into the life of a stand-up comedian crafting jokes from the tapestry of daily existence. Originally slated to replace Saturday Night Live for a solitary evening, the concept intrigued NBC to such an extent that it metamorphosed into a pilot episode, birthing the legendary sitcom. The core essence of observational humor persisted, but the lens widened to encompass the ensemble casts, Dynamic interactions. One divergent narrative thread involved Newman, portrayed by Wayne Knight, a character etched in viewers' minds as Jerry's portly nemesis. However, history reveals an alternative iteration. Newman was initially conceived as the African-American offspring of Jerry's landlord, played by William Thomas, Jr. This lesser-known chapter also included an audition by Tim Russ for the role. Intriguingly, a filmed scene introducing this iteration was later consigned to the editing room floor, never to grace our screens. Behind the camaraderie captured on camera, an uncelebrated ritual bound the main quartet, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Jason Alexander, Michael Richards, and Jerry Seinfeld. Ahead of each episode's taping, the actors gathered in the confines of Jerry's fictional bathroom, hands stacked in a unifying gesture. As they separated, a resounding yelp erupted, a cathartic release of pre-show jitters. Dubbed the Circle of Power, this ritual found its way into select episodes, including the iconic The Contest in Season 4. In tracing Seinfeld's trajectory, these unsung elements contribute to the show's multifaceted allure. Beyond the laughter in Neuroses lies a tapestry woven with what-ifs and alternate directions, a testament to the serendipitous alchemy of television's creative crucible. Seinfeld, unveiling intriguing bonds and homages in the realm of unrequited affections. Seinfeld s. George yearned, but Elaine remained unmoved. A curious dynamic, as Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Jason Alexander embodied an alternate duo on screen, married in North and entangled in the new adventures of old Christine. Here, Dreyfus Christine stumbles into an amusing doctor-patient rendezvous, reminiscent of George's longing glances. Yet, it's Kramer's utterance that resonates through time. These pretzels are making me thirsty. And homage to Jeff Goldblum's legendary line in Annie Hall, an iconic cinematic moment mirrored in Kramer's comic gusto. Amid accolades, a bittersweet note echoes for Jerry Seinfeld. Five Emmy nominations adorned his comedic journey, yet victory eluded him. A testament to his craft and wit, etching a legacy beyond accolades. Seinfeld's canvas unfurled with bonds unrequited, homages celebrated, and honors anticipated. Its charm endures, capturing the essence of a bygone era's laughter and camaraderie. Broderie, 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 broderie. Seinfeld unveiled the genius behind the supporting cast in the comedic realm of 1989 Seconds iconic TV series Seinfeld. One subtle quirk managed to captivate viewers across its nine-year run. The running gag that Jerry Seinfeld, portrayed by the eponymous comedian himself, couldn't quite nail down acting became an unintended source of intrigue. Yet, beneath the surface of this playful charade lay genuine apprehension among the show's producers. To counterbalance Seinfeld's unpolished thespian prowess, a carefully curated ensemble of supporting actors was assembled, with Jason Alexander's unforgettable turn as George Costanza standing at the forefront. Alexander's Broadway background endowed Seinfeld with the thespian gravitas it needed. This casting choice rippled with brilliance, as his theatrical experience lent an irreplaceable authenticity to the show's portrayal of George's endearing awkwardness and neuroticism. The merging of theater and television seemed serendipitous as Alexander embraced his role, seamlessly transforming George into a character ingrained in cultural memory. Cosmo Kramer, portrayed by Michael Richards, was another pivotal piece of the show's complex puzzle. Eager observers may have noted a seemingly innocuous yet consistent phenomenon, Kramer's almost 400 entrances into Jerry's apartment. This quirky factoid speaks to the unique chemistry that made Seinfeld an unparalleled sitcom experience. While the spotlight predominantly shone on the core quartet of characters, co-creator and executive producer Larry David stealthily made his mark. Beyond his foundational role in shaping the show's humor, David's vocal presence reverberated through various cameos. 
From the voice of George M. Steinbrenner III to the enigmatic man in the cape, and even a prisoner's threatening declaration, David's versatility was a testament to his multifaceted creative prowess. As Seinfeld bidded you in its ninth season, it was Larry David's voice that lingered on, the final resonance that reverberated. Amid the labyrinthine tales of nothingness and the unforgettable moments that stitched this show into the fabric of pop culture, it was the deliberate curation of supporting players that elevated the sitcom into a masterclass of comedic ingenuity. And there you have it, the tapestry of Seinfeld, woven with a running gag that ironically reflected the show's genius. Anchored by the likes of Jason Alexander and Larry David's enigmatic vocal tapestries, the series became an enduring testament to the power of clever casting. Casting, casting, casting. As we bid adieu, it's clear that Seinfeld isn't just a show, it's a time capsule of laughter, a kaleidoscope of quirks that has left an indelible mark on our comedic consciousness. As you've journeyed through the chronicles of Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer, perhaps you've discovered moments that feel like snippets of your own life, reflections of the absurdities and hilarities that we all encounter. Whether it's the iconic puffy shirt, the soup Nazis stern decree, or the Festivus pole standing tall in its holiday rebellion, Seinfeld has woven itself into the fabric of pop culture. It's not just a show, it's a companion that has seen us through late nights and lazy afternoons, a comforting chuckle in a world that sometimes takes itself a tad too seriously. Now, as the curtains draw to a close on this nostalgic journey, we invite you to revisit your fondest memories of Seinfeld. What scene never fails to make you grin? Which character's neurotic antics strike a chord with your own quirks? How has the show become a part of your life's anecdotes? Your experiences, your laughter, and your musings are the threads that enrich the tapestry of Seinfeld's legacy. Share your favorite moments, engage in conversations that celebrate the show's ingenious absurdity, and let your voice join the chorus of affectionate reminiscences. So, in the grand tradition of Seinfeld's wit, let's keep the banter alive, celebrating the show that transformed the mundane into the extraordinary, the awkward into the hilarious. Thank you for embracing this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest mean the world. Remember, the comedy never truly ends when we keep the spirit of Seinfeld alive in our conversations and hearts. Keep laughing, keep sharing, and keep relishing in the sitcom that has become a treasured part of your story.